Hello, how are you doing? Hello, and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Today, we're going to be talking about rabbit fever. So, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And for more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, Anna Snakes and Stuff. My youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. The good news is that this disease normally only affects animals, but it can spread to people too. There are reports that rabbit fever has been detected in animals and is spreading throughout Illinois right now. The Wildlife Medical Clinic at Illinois searched an update, shared an update on Facebook slash Mana. The, the following alarming message, the Wildlife Medical Clinic has noticed an uptick of rabbit fever in our local population of eastern cottontails since April the WMC has had four rabbits test positive for Forensica tyrannis, the bacteria that causes trauma. This is a highly infectious disease that can infect wildlife and people alike via tick slash deer fly bites, inhalation of aerosols, and skin contact with infected animals. They point to a CDC page about Tumera, which says this is a disease that affects rabbits, mice, and can transfer to people, but is not common. It is possible, though, and they warn those in Illinois who have been near rabbits to watch for the following symptoms, including skin ulcers, swelling and painful lymph nodes, inflamed eyes, sore throat, mouth sores, diarrhea, or pneumonia. The other good news is that terrarium can be treated with antibiotics if caught quickly. That's why they warn anyone in Illinois that begins to have symptoms to see a doctor immediately. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.